two, three, four, five, six, seven. 28. We have four offerings. And they're all in the bottom 32. No, they're in the bottom 28. Hello, my fair citizen, Strider the Mayor here, back with another salty deck. And this one is going to revolve around nine lives and harmless offering, and then of course, blowing everything up. So nine lives is a three mana enchantment that has hexproof, which is amazing because it doesn't die to targeted removal. It has to be a giant board wipe, right? It's very important. So whenever you take damage, you actually put an incarnation counter on it. Now, if there are nine or more incarnation counters on it, you exile nine lives. The bad part about that is if nine lives leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. Now, in order to help with this, we're going to use a card called Harmless Offering. This is just a three mana sorcery where target opponent takes control of target permanent you control. This is great. We're just going to give them our nine lives because we're nice people. We're just going to give them a little something something. You know what I'm saying? So once they have nine lives, that's really all that's important because at that point, all we have to do is cast either Devastating Mastery or Our Revelation. What that does is that just blows up all non-land permanents, and since nine lives only has hexproof, it doesn't have indestructible, it will be removed from the battlefield, in which case the owner of nine lives loses the game. So if we gave them nine lives, they own nine lives, and then if nine lives leaves the battlefield, quote unquote, you lose the game. Since they own it, they lose the game. So this is really, really funny combo. It's great. I know a lot of people use it with that four mana black enchantment where you know you can lose the game or whatever i really don't like that because if there's a counter spell then you just automatically lose the game and that's the worst part about it but with this particular combo you can't lose the game if it gets countered because you just still have nine lives or they still have nine lives and you just got your hour of revelation counter that's it right uh so this particular version is so much more consistent and it's very good since this is a combo deck, obviously we need to have a lot of scrying and a lot of filtering. So that's why we're running things like Maze Mind Tome, Treasure Map, uh, Valakut Awakening. I mean, there's so many things that we have in here just to try to find our combo. But it also obviously helps us find everything in the meantime to just kind of stay alive. Now, as far as changes go, I think the current list is perfect. I don't know what I would change with it because after I made these changes, it's completely undefeated. So that's why I hesitate to say that you can make any changes. So I just keep that in mind. But I will say that this deck is the truth, especially the way that it's showing in here. It will set you back 56 rares, which is a lot. I know it's a lot. For a 60 card deck, 56 rares is a lot. And I don't apologize, but this is this might be the most expensive deck, 60 card deck, I guess percentage wise, that I've ever made. So but, I mean, it's undefeated, so deal with it. Deal with it. If you want an undefeated deck, you're going to have to have undefeated wallet or something. I don't know. Whatever you want to say. But if you want the current deck list, it'll be linked at the card at the top right-hand corner of this video. It'll shoot you over to the Aether Hub page. But if you want the text-based version, it'll be in the description below as well as another link to the Aether Hub page. Stay salty and enjoy the games. We definitely won two games out of three, by the way. Holy shit. Dude, I feel so fucking stupid right now. <laughs> Ever been so tilted you're upside down? Yeah. I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. Marbles till until? I don't think I'm gonna until at all today. I think I'm literally just fucked. I think I've been fucked since two hours ago. <laughs> it's just, it's just gotten worse. Since you can earn some tears, nope.
<laughs> yep, all tilt, no breaks. Ox plow. Emote the opponent. All right. Six damage, turn three. All right. We will. We're not a draft deck. I don't know. If, is Ox plow a draft deck? That's, I don't know. I've seen it a few times. Oh, yeah. There. They're both Kaldeheim? Oh. I see. I didn't realize every card had to be from a different set. That makes sense. Because none of my cards are from the same set. Oh shit, if they put a snow land down, I think I die. Wait, no, they need another white source. Okay. Fine. Everything is fine. Pretending to read the cards. That's what we're doing right now. We're going for the old debate. They're not running into it. We're hovering over it because, you know, we're pretending like we have a chance. Imagine not going for lethal. I mean, I get not going for lethal, but I don't know if it's the right thing to do.
Well, this isn't good. This is definitely bad. This is definitely bad. Rotate. Yeah, they have four man lands. That's why Subtle is so fantastic here. I will pay one. Problem is, I don't really want Hour of Revelation right now. So they just get another snow. Like, I want an Hour of Revelation, but I want to gain this life. Because I kind of have to, right? Pony, you were playing around Subtle the Wreckage the entire game. Come on. You knew I had it. I got to do that. I will take four. Two, three. All right. This is good. It's good. It's good ramp. It's good ramp. Got him. Got him. Float the mana. Ooh, should have floated. Should have floated. I swear to God, if you have a cleansing Nova, I swear to God, I swear to God. I would have been so fucking mad. Would you like to return the nine lives to your hand, Keck W? <laughs> nice comeback. No, it was the easiest game of my life. There wasn't a comeback. Never didn't have it. 
Easy. Easy peasy. That's two out of three, baby. Two out of three, let's go, believers. Non-believers. Technically, we haven't lost with this game, or lost with this deck, yeah. Hiya. You're helping believers get more points? Aw, oh, bitch. So nice. All right. You know what? Let's just go for it. Yes, yes. If they drop a r oh no. Never mind. It only works with artifacts. Okay. It's almost good. It's almost good. Almost. We're almost good. Nope. Fucking Steve. God. Unholy fucker of mothers, really. I don't know why I didn't think they had Thoughtseize. Why would I... Why? Why would I think they didn't have Thoughtseize? Okay, they didn't. Okay, they don't know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Just don't have another thought seize or discard, please. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay. This is fine. Tempting tragedy at the dix cent to the assault field. Tempting tragedy, 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 tempting tragedy. Huh. I want both of those. Thank you, Tempting Tragedy. That was a banger. Certified banger. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, it's at five. It's at five. Gross. Gross. Okay. Maybe. Ah. Uh. All right. 
No Thoughtsies. No. No Thoughtsies. All rise, motherfucker. You got to bait it. You got, you got to bait it. You got to bait it. Let's thin out our deck, please. Not losing yet. All right. Blast zone works. Blast zone works. I need two turns. And for them to not have like a targeted just discard. They could have thought seize now. I don't give a fuck. Good thing we got rid of that field of rune earlier. All right. Goodbye. Zombie wave. They didn't, they didn't want to let it go through. All right. I mean, we won two games. That was quite unfortunate. We just we didn't get our shit fast enough. We need ways to find... We need ways to get Harmless Offering more frequently. Or something. Like I feel like we had enough scry. Maybe we need treasure map. Maybe we need treasure map. I think we need Solomonity. I mean Solomonity would fuck a lot of our shit. I would prefer not to Solomonity. I wouldn't be able to use Mace Mine Tome or Treasure Map if I were to add that. I wouldn't be able to use Blast Zone. don't really want you to cast Muxes next turn. Thought I was running nine lives, Solomonity. No. No, it's not Solomonity. In response... We win in two turns. Two turns.
you want to go ahead and take that? I will gift you a kitty. You're welcome. I know, I'm the nicest. I'm the nicest person alive. The nicest person alive. <laughs> what would you like to bring back to your hand? Hmm? Would you like to return the nine lives back to my hand? Ooh. Nope. Incorrect. They did not want to do that. What do I think about alchemy? Uh, alchemy is amazing. I think it's going to be great. Well, I know it's going to be great. God damn it. Yeah, it's like we just need to find a way to draw our combo. And so that's kind of why I just threw in treasure map as well. I'm like, Maze Mind Tome and treasure map will get us the combo. Eventually. I don't remember if if they have a nine lives and I have a nine lives and I our revelation I lose right because of a nap or whatever. I think I, think I lose. Isn't it active player, non-active? I don't, I don't know what it is. What we did on stream months ago? I don't remember. Yeah. I believe Alchemy is the future of Arena? It is. I think the concept of casting off the shackles of Paper Origins is overdue. Yeah. Hundred percent. Well, that's a bunch of ass. Ooh. All right. Well. I mean, I have the combo, right? I just need a Harmless Offering. I'll take a Valakut Awakening. I'll take one of those, too. I guess technically I have 26 lands with the three Valakut Awakenings. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, cool. Actually awesome. <gasps> Solar wreckage. Yes. Oh, that's bad. They don't have 35? Okay. Sure. Damn it. It's not looking good for us. Are they going to zero their Johnny? That is the question.
two, three, four. It's only four, so I don't really care. Five. Now they zero, right? They have black? Fuck me. If they have a thought seize. You can turn off auto replacements and load eight counters on one of them. Yeah. But that doesn't help me. Veto? Uh, that makes sense. Not now. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I know. Got it. Hey, you got it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I'm fine for one more attack. Huh? Fine. Bitch. <laughs> you got your baby. I don't know. I think that was a bad idea, to be honest. I think it was a bad idea. Well, okay. This is actually really good. Okay. All right, yeah, this is really good. They're not zeroing. I can throw back all three. Yeah, I can throw back all three of those, which is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Adding one. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. Um, so one, two, three. All right, so we can blow this up. Wait, what? But but upkeep stop. God damn it. But upkeep stop. Okay, two more. Two more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twenty-eight. We have four offerings. And they're all in the bottom thirty-two. No, they're in the bottom twenty-eight. They're all in the bottom twenty-eight. Saved. <laughs> no solemnity? No. Not quite what the deck is. Two, three. I think we're fine with this, right? Yeah, blow one up anyway. Two. Might as well. Finally. Zombie wave. 69? Nice. At least you died with 69. Cheers. Scoops keep potatoes. I say scoops key, you say potatoes. I do need an untapped land. Which does sound good, does it? Um, whatever opponent's doing is not good. I need to get my nine lives. Did I bottom a nine lives? No. Pretending that that's what I'm holding it up for.
Good job, us. All rise, motherfucker. You got to bait it. You got, you got to bait it. You got to bait it. No basics? I didn't check their basics. Oh, they didn't bring basics. Oh, you're right. I just now noticed that. Ooh, I should feel the ruin, both their things. Don't think Yep. Nope. <laughs> nope. Land destruction? Land destruction. Not what I wanted. I was trying to thin my deck out of lands, which I did. And then I double did. Finally got through with that fucking dinosaur. That's five. I don't know if that's what we do. I'm just assuming that's what we do. I'm assuming this is what we do. We did get a lot of value out of that. We lost a lot of value, but we also got a lot of value. Okay, well... At least we have, at least we have some land, right? 
We have mana to do whatever we need to do when we need to do it. We do need this card. We do need this card. Just notice that, like Jaffer, you have taken up closed captions. I... I don't, I don't say I started it. I was just... I showed him. I, I told him about it. But yes. I know, fucking Zatalpa. So, at the end of the day, this deck ended up going 9 and 5. Uh, it's a very good deck. I've built something really close to this in the past. It really just revolves around nine lives and harmless offering. So it's very difficult for people to beat it. Uh, you are able to really just win against every single deck unless they have a cleansing Nova. So there is a argument about putting Tefri's protection in here just to prevent you from dying because if you're going up against an Azorius control deck and they're running cleansing Nova with counter spell backup, you're probably going to die regardless, but outside of that, it's a very, very, very solid deck. We don't really have many weaknesses. Aggressive hand hate is going to be a problem, but that's usually what a problem is with any deck. Uh, but outside of that, the only thing you're going to have a problem with is either not drawing your harmless offering or nine lives, one of the two. Uh, or you're just going to get run over by aggro before you can do anything. Um, so we pretty much have ways to get around all of that, especially after we added in treasure map. We took out some other things, which were nice. Obviously, we love Devastating Mastery, our revelation. Cosmos Elixir, I still love, but we are, you know, using a lot of blow up everything cards. So one less Cosmos Elixir didn't seem to be much of a problem. And having treasure map out there was good for a couple reasons. Uh, one, because it makes our revelation cheaper, but also it flips into a land and it helps us scry a bit more in the early game to really make sure that we can get our combo off as quickly as possible. And it's also ramp, blah, 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 blah. It's a lot of really cool things. So once we added the four treasure maps, the deck got even more consistent. It was doing pretty good before i mean it was five and five um so it was just kind of like you know chilling out in the friend zone uh but then after you know we added treasure map it just started going balls deep you know what i mean so uh, i highly recommend the deck it's very very consistent at this point the way it is right now i think treasure map really just pulled it together thank you all so much for watching if you made it to this point it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and i'm waking you up now <laughs> either way thank you for all the support i really do appreciate it if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification come out with videos seven days a week